Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Today I have another beer from uh, Heist Brewing Company out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, this beer is called Mango Burst. It's a uh, mango vanilla IPA. So I guess it's basically like a milkshake IPA. Um, it is 6.7 ABV. Um, this did just come out. But I haven't heard um, any comments or reviews about it, so curious how it is. Let's see what we got. Wow, I can smell that from here. Um, so as you can see, it pours a, uh, a cloudy, darker golden to uh, light orange color with uh, about a half inch of, um, or half fingers worth of uh, white head that is uh, fading off pretty quickly. <sighs> that is a ton of mango. Holy hell. But it doesn't, it doesn't smell artificial at all. It smells like super fresh mango. I don't think I've ever smelled, to be honest, I don't think I've ever smelled mango that strong in a beer before. That's pretty insane. So... It's unfortunate because the mango, the aroma in the, is so filled with mango. There really wasn't that much vanilla, but then the flavors, like the reverse, where it's just flooded with vanilla. Um, there is a little mango on the back end, but it's just so much vanilla. And both of the flavors are so strong. Like the underlying IPA is just pretty much lost. Uh, you know, that's what I think are unfortunate about a lot of these milkshake IPAs is like, it, it they don't play compliment to the hops, they just overwhelm them. Like, they might as well just be, um, like vanilla fruited wheat beers. I mean, that's basically what they taste like. Um... And I don't know, I guess it's probably from the mango, that would, obviously that would make sense because that's going to add some sugar. But it just has like this really big heft to it. Like, it's almost like syrupy, which for a beer that's only 6.7 ABV, that's kind of strange. Um, like, it, it, it tastes a little sweet, but not that sweet, but the body is just like so thick. Which is, I don't know, it's just, to me, it's not appropriate for this style of beer. Um, I feel like if everything about this was scaled back, like, 10%, it would be really good. Um... But there's, I don't know if it's the, the mango flavor or the sweetness from it or something about the body of the fruit that's making this seem like really cloying, but like I said, it's kind of syrupy, it's weird, and <clears throat> when it sits on your tongue at first, it's like, oh, what the hell is this? But then when you taste it, you get the flavors, and the flavors are pretty good, but like, just that body and the mouthfeel is... Honestly, it's too much, and I, I'm i going to have trouble finishing this can, uh, which is really a shame because, like, the flavors are good, but it's just too syrupy. It's weird. Um, it's basically it's just not an IPA. It doesn't, it's not really like an IPA. Uh, I understand why some people might like this if you really like vanilla and mango, but it I mean, I feel like you could make some vanilla mango, like I said, wheat beer or something, and you could make it taste just like this. 
and it would be similarly sweet. Um, I wish it was just like more attenuated or something. But it, it doesn't just seem like it's sweetness to me. It seems like there's something else that's causing it. I don't know the chemistry behind it. I also don't know everything that was put in it, so I can't really say for sure. But um, I, I'm going to have to go with a drink on this one because I, I, I think I'm even going to have trouble finishing this can, to be honest. The flavors are on point, but it's just the body and it's just, I don't know, it's just too, it's too syrupy for me. It's really strange. Um, I would not buy this again. Uh, I think, but at the same time, I, I, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt that it's just, you know, that one thing that's just part of my taste. And a lot of people might like this because it really is pretty mango and vanilla forward. Um, so I could see a lot of people liking this, but it's just not, it's too much for me. Um. That's kind of my thought on a lot of the milkshake IPAs, to be honest. It's not just them, so I'm not hating on high specifically. Um, maybe this beer specifically, but they're not the only ones that do that. A lot of breweries have the same issue, in my opinion. So, Yeah, I think that's all I got on this guy. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.